Hello YouTube, Easy Astronomy here, and today, wait, wait, no, no, something's wrong, Ho hold on, what's, <sighs> much better, alright, let's see, now where were we, oh yes, hello YouTube, Easy Astronomy here, and today we're going to be talking about the Dobsonian, one of the best telescopes for beginners on the market today. Now, Dictionary.com defines the Dobsonian as a relatively inexpensive Newtonian telescope suitable for visual but not photographic use, in which the tube assembly slips freely into the lower base. And I think this is a pretty good definition in terms of what a Dobsonian is. It's like a Newtonian, which has two sets of mirrors, a primary and a secondary, that bounce light off into your eyeball, but additionally also fits into a base that acts as a mount so that you can rotate it and point it at whatever you need without having a tripod. And as I've found, I think one of the things that make it very popular on the market today is that they're fairly easy to use, as I found out. Let's take a look. So the key to carrying your Dobsonian is picking it up like it's your friend. So just pick up the barrel and give it a hug. <laughs> then carry the tube to where you want it to go and bring the mount next. Once the tube and the mount are set up together, be sure to hook the springs together so that the Dobsonian tube doesn't fall off and the mirror shatters in some kind of freak accident. Because it's your friend, and you don't want to kill it. Now collimation is the process by which you get the primary mirror aligned with your secondary mirror aligned with your eyepiece. So that you know exactly what you're seeing when you point your telescope at something and look through the eyepiece from the secondary to the primary. And when it comes to this, there are really two tools you can use. There's this, which is a laser collimator, and this, which is a Cheshire lens. And both have their pros and cons. So the great thing about the Cheshire lens is that you can just stick it in the socket where the eyepiece would normally go and just look through it. And most Dobsonians have a ring around the center of their primary that you can then move the primary and secondary mirrors to align with exactly at the circle within the Cheshire lens. And so what this means is that there's no moving or anything that you have to do. But the downside to this is that if you don't have two people and you're doing this alone, you have to look through the scope, turn the primary, look through the scope, turn the primary, make sure it's exactly aligned, turn the secondary, and make sure everything's good, which can be kind of a time suck. And then this, which is a laser collimator, works basically the same way. You stick it in where the eyepiece would go, and you turn on the laser, pew, pew, then twist the primary and secondary mirrors so that it lines up with the primary dot in the center. Now let's go see what this looks like. So unfortunately, the Cheshire lens's aperture is too small for me to get my camera into, so we're just going to go ahead and see what the laser collimator looks like. So what you do is you take out this eyepiece that's already in here. You insert the laser collimator. And inside there, we're not exactly collimated here. So right now, I'm going to show you how to collimate your Dobsonian. Okay. So first we're going to start with the primary mirror collimation. And as you can see, this laser collimator up here is not, has to be exactly in the center of this grid here, which it is not. So what we're going to do is this has several thumb screws on it and we're going to tighten and loosen these thumb screws until that laser is exactly in the center. And as we tilt the thumb screws, we can move the laser into the center. And we're pretty good right now. So now we're going to move on to the secondary mirror. All right. Oh, hello. Hi. So, what we've done is we've gotten pretty cl a little bit closer to the target with the laser, with the primary mirror alignment. So now all that we have to do is align it a little bit with the secondary mirror. And so what we need to do now 
is we take an Allen key, and unfortunately this did not come with the Dobsonian, so I can't actually give it a 10 out of 10. And we're just going to turn these three knobs so that the laser lines up exactly in the middle of the circle. And this 5 ths Allen key seems to work well for me. And as you can see there, we've got it pretty darn good. So, it should be ready for observing tonight. Now, when it comes to alignment scopes, you also really have two options. You have the Orion provided Easy Finder 2, which is also probably the reason you didn't find anything when you searched my name on YouTube. Or you could opt to spend a little more and get something like this, which is a Telrad, which is much, much more effective. I'd highly recommend splurging for something like this. Now the difference between the two is that the Easy Finder has this kind of reddish inside that you have to look through to find where you're looking at. And the Telrad has this bullseye design on it that you can look to find the stars. And there's the bullseye. But there's one really big factor, I think, that set these two apart. It's that you can't look through the bullseye and be able to play Duck Hunter with the Easy Finder, so the Telrad wins by a mile. In all seriousness, though, the Easy Finder is apparently really, really hard to look through and navigate with. So some form of Telrad is definitely highly, highly recommended. And I think that's about all the pertinent information you're going to need to know about setting up and looking through your Dobsonian telescope. So if you enjoyed, please don't hesitate to like, comment, subscribe, binge watch all of my four other videos. And I think that'll about, that'll about do it. So this has been Easy Astronomy, and with your new Dobsonian telescope, I wish you dark nights and clear skies.